Okay, so I'm back to show you what I'm going to do with this extraction that I just did, and we're gonna refine the edges a little bit more and so that it works for this situation. So I've got my extraction here, and I'm gonna go ahead and move it off to the side, and I'm gonna come to my Christmas card, and I wanna come to the layers of my Christmas card, and I'm gonna come to where it says, your photo here. And I'm gonna drag my couple in here and I'm going to close that one. All right, I am going to go ahead and make a copy of this so that I have a backup and I'm gonna turn one off, view, fit on screen. I'm going to go ahead and resize this and since it has a layer mask, the mask will resize as well. I'm going to put it down here and I'm going to zoom it in a little bit. view fit on screen so that we can see it. I'm going to go ahead and change it to 25 because it's a little bit easier to see in 25. Sometimes they'll look this good and sometimes they won't. It just depends. Some more things that you can do with this is you can come over to the mask and you can press your alt key down and you can see the mask by itself to see if there's any little straggly parts or anything. So I'm going to zoom in on this and we'll just take a look here. This is actually a really clean selection, but if like there was an area that wasn't extracted very well, I'll show you what you can do. Let's say this hat maybe had some issues. So what we could do is we come over to our, we make sure that we have our masks highlighted. So you come over here, you select a brush, like a soft edged brush. You come to your mask and you change it to overlay and make sure that you have, let me expand this, make sure that you have um, your white on top for this one, whichever one you have on top is gonna, like if I have white on top, it's gonna bring back white. Wait, where'd my overlay go, okay. So it's bringing back more white. So you can bring back and take away by doing that. Now another thing you can do, another little secret that you can do is you can take your mask and you have your mac mask selected and then you do control L and that brings up your levels. Now watch the edge of, of this as I bring it, bring this to the right. It slowly takes away some of that fringe. And with the right pictures, this really makes a big difference. So in this situation, I don't really think it needs it, but sometimes it does. And one more thing you can, well, I there's a couple more things that I also like to do to play with to make these blend better. And I'll show you what that is. Um, sometimes if there's a glow that I don't like around it, which I wish I had a specific one to show you for this, but I will add an inner shadow if I want it to be darker. And then, which like, let's say I want it to be darker right here, but I don't want it to be darker down here. I can right click this inner shadow and say, create layer. And then I can add a mask to that and I can mask off like any part that I don't want to have that. I had to change this back to normal. So I can, like if I only wanted it around the hat, I could actually remove it or if I only run it around the bottom, I could actually remove it from the top. And in this situation, it doesn't really work, but sometimes it really helps a lot. And let me show you one more. I'm gonna turn that off. And another one you can do is the exact opposite, which is an inner glow or an outer glow. Um, an inner glow can also help, like if you wanna look like you have a little bit of rim light, uh, like there, there's light from behind. And I'll show you it exaggerated so you can see here. 
that's what it is exaggerated. So you can see it just adds a little bit of light as if the sun is hitting the back of their heads. If you do it just a little bit, like maybe five. Okay, then I go ahead and right click that. It's not showing up because it's cut off screen. Let me show you that. Let's move this out. Uh, I'm gonna make this. Okay. All right. I want you to be able to see this where it says it. Right click it, create layer. So again, it's created a layer, and I can add a mask, and I can delete the light off of the places that I don't think it looks right and leave it where I like it. It really helps uh, to sell it. And then another thing you can do that I like to do for the sports players, double click it, add an outer glow. This is, uh, works really well for the sports players. Um, add a huge size. Right click this. Create layer. So now I have my layer that's behind it. So I'm going to just show you that by itself. So then I can come in, even if I don't want it quite that obvious, I can come filter, blur, and add a blur here. Huge, maybe like a huge blur. And it makes it much larger. Then I can reduce the opacity and it adds just a slight glow to the people. And with a lot of compositions, having that glow really separates it and makes it seem more realistic. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off for now, though. So that is the way I make a lot of my images look more realistic in the picture. So next, I'm going to show you how to actually customize the Christmas card. So stay tuned. <laughs>